Hello. Welcome to a Calphon. I'm your tour guide, Ducky, and I'm going to show you around our five star island today. Now bear in mind that the island is still under renovations as they always are, uh, but I wanted to show you what we've built so far. So when you enter uh, the Isle of Akalpan, uh, you're initially greeted with a lovely subdivision on the left where all of the island residents live and some bamboo flower gardens on the right. So let's start on the left and see uh, what we have here. So as you can see, every resident has a fenced in yard with different flowers depending on their preferences. And there's a little pathway so you can go down whichever row of houses you'd like. Most of the residents will be out and about at this time of day or still sleeping. So we won't bother them today, but maybe another time we can stop in and say hi to everybody. So coming right in the front, uh, the first thing you'll notice is our beautiful fountain and T-Rex statue. <laughs> now this is a new fixture in a Calpon. We used to do our um, breeding of hybrid flowers here. You can see there's a lot of pink windflowers, uh, but recently uh, there was a wedding on the island, so we needed some of those flowers. So this has now been repurposed to a bit of a a common space, little walking area. Uh, there's little stalls of flowers here, so it's, it's a really lovely area. Um, one thing you'll notice when walking around the island is a lot of phone booths. We love our phone booths in this town and have collected um, most, if not all, of the available colors. We also love gardens, and so coming along towards the right, uh, you will see uh, the Able Sisters shop where you can buy different clothes and fashion. Um, oop, looks like someone dropped something. And you can also see uh, these lovely rose gardens. And again, we needed some of these roses uh, for our um, for our, our wedding we had. So this is uh, a little bit out of the way. Now, I wasn't planning to talk to villagers today, but it looks like Fuchsia's got a lot in her mind, so let's see what's going on with Fuchsia. Oh, it seems Fuchsia wants to give us a new nickname. I think that's fine. <laughs> um, here is our resident services building. Uh, you can see uh, first and, and foremost, we've got our um, lovely Akalpan ducky flag going. Here's Pom Pom and Bob, some of our residents. This is Leaf. He shows up occasionally to sell flowers and, and some shrubs. Um, oh, but I forgot to show you the flowers. So you can see we've got some lovely hedges welcoming you into the town. And if you look just south of the hedges, um, there are lilies, which are one of our favorite flowers here, uh, surrounding some bamboo. So. These are in the process of being bred for different colors. Um, so you can see there's a few little stragglers around that we'll have to pick up later. Uh, and then down here we have the beach, which every island in Animal Crossing has really lovely beaches. Just east of the flower garden, you see our uh, cafe. There are drinks and snacks if you're on the run, or you can come in, have a little uh, listen to some music on the piano, maybe have a cup of tea, sit and chat with someone. Um, and there is a full kitchen. Oops, someone left the stove on. There we go. Safety first. <laughs> now, right here, you can see our, um, our Nook's Cranny shop. This is where Timmy and Tommy sell the local goods. Um, they also purchase some of the things we find around the island. Coming east over this bridge, you can see the local museum, which is beautiful. I should give you a tour of that sometime, uh, with dinosaurs to greet you so you know what to expect. Now, uh, I will continue east eventually, but first let's go up north and see the wedding venue. So yesterday we had two friends get married on the island, um, so we put together this beautiful little venue for them with uh, these flowers they can walk through. They came down the aisle and the flower girl dropped some lovely, lovely uh, sakura petals. And then we came up to this venue. 
so you can see the nice waterfall in the back, bamboo, roses, candles everywhere, and also some nice lilies of the valley. And people were able to um, enjoy live music and, and bring a gift. And then for the reception after, we had cotton candy. So that was a lovely event. And just near our venue, we've got another little stop in case you're tired from your walk around the town. Uh, you can get a drink here and have a sit on the bench. Um, or just continue north and see uh, what's going on at the campsite. Now, no one is camping here right now, but you can see we do have a really nice setup. There are waterfalls all around, beautiful shrubs, which are not currently blossoming, but they will. Those are hydrangeas. Um, and some little young coconuts surrounding the campsite. So this is a really nice place for anyone who's visiting the island who kind of wants to have a look around. Um, and then uh, going back down by the museum and then continuing east up our, um, our little plateau in town, you will see a recent addition. There is, um, first of all, a recital hall for any live music performances we might want to have. Um, but second of all, uh, recently there has been um, a lovely, lovely money tree uh, walkway planted. So you can see these beautiful roses in bloom uh, and all of the bells on trees. Because as we all know, in this town, money does grow on trees. And there's room for some more trees which are blooming in other parts of town. Um, we just haven't uh, moved them over yet, but we will. We will. North of the money tree grove, you see the bamboo forest, which is beautiful. You can see lots of rocks. There's a gong, a bamboo noodle slide in case you are feeling a bit peckish. Um, and, and an assortment of, um, you know, decoy ducks and, and garden stones. It's really lovely here. It's a nice place to just kind of sit and relax and, and think. But if you really, really need extra relaxation, the local spa is here. Um, so the spa in Hot Springs has a bathrobe and some slippers for any visitors to borrow while they're here. You can see we've got a selection of hot baths from the Cypress bath to this lovely stone bath. Um, in case you need to uh, do some skin care, we've got this vanity available with towels nearby. Or you can just sit by the incense and enjoy resting a bit. Um, and if you really, really need to rest, we've got the tatami beds available. So anyone is welcome to come here, uh, kind of change into a, a bathrobe and, and relax, have a nice time. And then heading west, we have another area under construction. This uh, was formerly a bamboo forest, but we had to do a little bit of rearranging for the wedding, as you can see. Um, so this is going to be changed, and I will uh, send another video or, or take some photos when that's updated. But um, this used to have a fountain right here. Now this is just an open observing area for any shooting stars at night. Um, so those are, are the main parts of the island uh, on this side of the island. Now we're going to head back to the area we started and then um, go north of the river in town. That is where we have a couple of other interesting things to see. So if you'll come with me this way, this is Kid, he lives here. So we head north and we're going to actually go past the Able sisters again. We've got a little stream to hop and we can go back this direction. Now, um, you can see there's a few more phone boxes. We'll go up here for uh, a bit later. This is heading back into town. You can see we've got um, some beautiful bears and, and flamingos on the horizon. We try to keep things very whimsical here in town and there's plenty of waterfalls to enjoy all across the island. Um, on the left, this is actually our uh, fruit grove. So each row of trees will produce a different fruit. We have apples, cherries, oranges, uh, peaches, and pears, which is really lovely when they're all in bloom, but you can see that these have been picked now. Um, the lighthouse is here to guide any ship safely home, a phone box in case you need to make a call, another breeding area for some flowers, and then this is a lovely cafe, but we did borrow these chairs from the cafe uh, for our wedding ceremony. So it's just a nice place you can sit and relax. There's a, a fountain and a beautiful view. 
And last but not least, if we head back up this ramp that I pointed out earlier, you can see where I live. So this is my home. And um, one thing that's been under construction recently is this beautiful patio where you can come sit and enjoy a nice cup of tea with friends, maybe have a meal uh, with your friends or family. Um, we've also got some uh, lovely hybrid flowers going. You can see we've got a new blue uh, pansy, it looks like has sprouted. But just, you know, a nice, a nice area to overlook the island right near the campsite and those waterfalls that are um, so, so beautiful at the campsite. There's also a selection of other flowers that don't quite fit with any particular decor on the island yet, but we're hanging on to just in case. You never know. And to the left of the house, um, we have this porch swing, but also this waterfall viewing area. So that waterfall we walked past um, a little bit lower down on the island, we can sit on here and have a nice view and maybe take some photos. Now the house is very much under construction, so I'm not gonna show you that this time, but I will send another video once some of that is done. So that's the island. Thank you so much for joining me for this tour. And I'll let you know when we have any major changes. It'll be great to see you again. <laughs> Bye.